Welcome to High School Basketball here on KBZE 105.9 FM and KBZE.com. This afternoon, the Franklin Hornets are taking on the Rayville Hornets in the LHSAA 2A Basketball Semifinals. This afternoon's game is being brought to you by these title sponsors. The City of Franklin, Mayor Eugene Folkard, Mayor Pro Tem Lester Levine, and Councilman Chuck Altan, Joe Garrison, Larry Gilbo, and Jamie Robeson. Tesh Action Clinic, Louisiana's first community health center, opening in Franklin, Louisiana in 1974. Carl Folkard, Bill Bonds, and Folkard Insurance Agency of Franklin, and Attorney Garen Johnson. Also sponsoring our coverage this afternoon are Franklin Foundation Hospital, moving forward together. State Senator Brett Allen, St. Mary Parish Sheriff Blaze Smith, former Mayor of Franklin and former State Representative of Franklin, Sam Jones, Dr. Roland Degater, and staff. Northwest Gulf Truck Stop, Store, and Video Poker, open 24 hours, Franklin exit at Northwest Boulevard. A.J. Doman Chevrolet Cadillac and A.J. Doman Chrysler Dodge Jeep. A.J. Doman Chevrolet Cadillac in Berwick. And the Bellevue Golf and Social Club, the best kept secret in South Louisiana. Right here in Franklin, a beautiful nine-hole course located right along the Tesh. Now it's time to take you to Lake Charles to the Burton Coliseum for the day's game. Here's KBZE 105.9 FM Sports Director Seth Thomas. Take it away, Seth. Thank you, Captain Boogie, and good morning, everyone, and welcome to Lake Charles in Burton Coliseum. And let me tell you, if you're scared of Hornets, this is not the place to be at 12 o'clock because both sides, Franklin and Rayville, are the Hornets, and there'll be plenty buzzing around this game. Number one ranked Rayville Hornets come in with an impressive record and unbelievable numbers. Meanwhile, Franklin, they advance to their first top 24 appearance. It's hard to believe they've been playing this since 1961. This is Franklin's first trip to the semifinals. Now, in 1958, the Hornets claimed the state championship as they knocked off Kaplan. Back then, they played on home courts. That game was in Kaplan. But the Hornets of uh, 2000, 2021 looking to make history in advance to the state championship. Standing in their way, as we mentioned, the number one team in the state, Rayville. Listen to these numbers. In round one, Rayville beat Welsh 110 to 54. In round two, the regional round, they beat Oakdale 109 to 57. You think, wow, that's impressive numbers. In the quarterfinals, they beat Morris Jeff Community out of New Orleans 130 to 56. 130, folks, that is a whole lot of shots going in. These guys get it up and down the floor. Meanwhile, for Franklin, the fifth seed in Class 2A. They beat Bornado 89-56. Then they beat rival West St. Mary 74-54. And then an exciting game. They knocked off number four, Doyle, 64-57. The Hornets like to get it up and down the floor, too. We'll see what their strategy is to try to slow down Rayville or if they're going to try to run with them. I've been looking forward to this one. You better put your tennis shoes on and you better get some Gatorade because you're going to be running up and down the floor right now. We're going to go back to our first break. After the break, you'll hear the conclusion, the last three minutes of the Franklin High Doyle quarterfinal game, that exciting finish. Then we'll be back here to Burton Coliseum for more of the pregame show getting you set for the state semifinals. This is Franklin Hornet basketball on KBZE. Harley Holland here with A.J. Doman's Chevrolet Cadillac in Berwick, Louisiana. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Hey, we can help you. We understand. We've lived through this COVID along with you. With your good job and your down payment, we can get you riding in a new vehicle today. Come down and see us at AJ Doman Chevrolet Cadillac and let us show you how easy we can make it for you. AJ Doman Chevrolet Cadillac in Berwick, Louisiana. Whether for a restaurant or an online purchase, when you see five stars, you know it's the best. The same is true for healthcare. Thibodeau Regional Health System is proud to have earned five stars from CMS for highest quality care. A five-star rating is the highest possible score, and Thibodeau Regional is the only hospital in South Louisiana to have earned five stars. Proof of the high quality of care you and your family will receive at Thibodeau Regional. 
It's time for you to save like never before at A.J. Doman Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Are you ready for a great deal? Yeah. A money-saving party! We got new and used cars, trucks, and vans. We'll get you kick-started. Yeah, our service and selection are out of sight. Come deal with us, we're gonna treat you right. A.J. Doman Chrysler Dodge Jeep on the corner of Highway 90 and 182 at the foot of the bridge in Berwick. Time for a quick quiz. What do you get when you multiply your salary by seven? Give up? That's the amount of life insurance you may need. Do you have the right amount of life insurance to protect your family's future? Carl Focard of Focard Insurance Agency in Franklin can make sure that you do. He'll even provide you with a free life insurance analysis. Call Carl Focard today at 384-8332 or 828-7111. Because when it comes to your life insurance, good hands make all the difference. In jail? Got a high bond? Then make your next move your best move. Call attorney Garen Matthew Johnson at 504-296-6159 to help get your loved ones out of jail, home. Bond reductions for all budgets. And remember, get at him if you were involved in any auto accidents. Call this brother right here, attorney Garen Matthew Johnson at 504-296-6159. Franklin 60, Dog 57 with 53 seconds left to play. Franklin is in a full court, boxing one. Number two, Andrew Uritich throws it to Stanley Butler. Butler gives it to Gray. Gray goes to the goal. He pulls it back out. He's going to swing it to Zeno and the Franklin Hornets. Zeno is going to the line for two. The Franklin Hornets are 37 seconds away from going to the state semifinals. The Franklin faithful has erupted. First shot is up. And it's good. Big time players make big time plays. And Travis Zeno is stepping up in this fourth quarter. Shot is up and it's good. Franklin 62, Dog 57 with 35 seconds left. Franklin is still with the full court pressure. They're trying to get it to number two, Andrew Uritich, who plays with the team, but Perry is all over him. Franklin High is playing some amazing defense. 62 57, the Franklin Hornets are 21 seconds away. Keen inbounds the ball and passes to Stewart. Stewart goes to the goal. He's up. He misses. Stanley Butler and Keen ties it up. Dog ball. Franklin 62. Dog 57 with 15.6 seconds left. Keen inbounds it to Landon. He shoots the three. And it's off. Rebounded by Provo. The Franklin High Hornets are eight seconds away and will be representing the Franklin High. Franklin High Hornets are on their way to the Class 2A state semifinals. What an amazing effort by the Hornets. Shot is up. Zeno knocks it in. Sixty-three fifty-seven with eight seconds left, and it's in. And the Franklin High Hornets are on the way to the Class Two A state semifinals for the first time in school history. We're back here at Burton Coliseum. That was the conclusion of a great road victory for Franklin. They went to Doyle. Franklin got in foul trouble early. They had to get out of that pressure defense, and they stepped up in the second half, really played well. They showed that they could play both ways. Franklin is an up-tempo team, but I think that game proved that they can also play in the half court. We'll see what Coach Johnson 
decides to do today. Meanwhile, here is uh, the Hornets, their roster, and the uh, supporting cast. First of all, the principal is Natasha Jackson. The athletic director is Todd Viator. The head coach is Tremaine Johnson. Assistant coach is Joseph Jones. Assistant principal, Bianca Bennett. The managers are Kyler Provo and Jalen Mitchell. Players, number one, Travis Zeno. Number two, Jamichael Gray. Number three, Zylan Perry. Number four, Kim Provo. Number five is Stanley Butler. Number 10 is Darren Ballot. Number 11, Jayshon Johnson. Number 12 is Irvin, Irving Lumpkin. 15 is Willis Jenkins. Number 20 is Christian Henry. 21 is Davon Ballot. Number 23 is Dalen Bell. 24 is Ashton Page. And number 32 is Kylan Peters. We'd also like to tell you that today's game is being brought to you in part by M.K. Dixon Funeral Home. Celebrating lives, cherishing memories, honoring legacies 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. This is the first game of the day in game two. It will be the other half of the bracket in 2A, as it will be number two, Port Allen, defending state champs. They'll take on number six, Lakeview. Lakeview, if you remember last year, was a team that bounced the Hornets out of the playoffs over in Campty. We went up there and Lakeview defeated the Hornets, but as we mentioned, Franklin today in the semifinals against Rayville. Looking at the averages and the starters for Rayville, they got three big scorers just like the Hornets do. Tashi Nat, a 6'2 senior, he averages 18. Six foot senior guard. Cyquarius Coward, he averages 17. He was on the all-tournament team in this tournament last year as Rayville lost in the finals. And a Tony Percy, a 5'8 junior, he averages 12 a game. Meanwhile, for the Hornets, Travis Zeno averages 21. DeMichael Gray, 19. Kim Provo, 15. The three guard-led uh, juniors both Gray and Provo and the senior, Zeno. We'll take another break. We And also, after the break, you'll hear from Mayor Eugene Pocord as he talks to the team. We'll be back after this timeout. This is Franklin Basketball on KBZ. Hi, this is Mayor Eugene Folcard with the city of Franklin. Our community is proud of the accomplishments of the Franklin High Hornet basketball team. Our beautiful city is seeing a revitalization movement and it all starts at home. Remember, shop local, eat local, play local, and fuel local as much as possible and keep much needed revenues local to support water infrastructure, current and future overland of streets, community projects across our city, and much, much more. Remember, it's all under the lampposts. Come feel our new energy as we continue to revitalize Franklin. Video poker fans, Highway 90 motorists, truck drivers, the Northwest Golf Truck Stop, and Video Poker Casino open 24 hours for your enjoyment. Come and win big. Come inside if you're tired of driving and if you need a break. Your favorite place to play and relax in full swing. The Northwest Golf Truck Stop open 24 hours at the corner of Franklin Exit and Northwest Boulevard. Time for a quick quiz. What do you get when you multiply your salary by seven? Give up? That's the amount of life insurance you may need. Do you have the right amount of life insurance to protect your family's future? Carl Focard of Focard Insurance Agency in Franklin can make sure that you do. He'll even provide you with a free life insurance analysis. Call Carl Focard today at 384-8332 or 828-7111. Because when it comes to your life insurance, good hands make all the difference. I'm going to tell you about the best kept secret in South Louisiana, the Bellevue Golf and Social Club, a beautiful nine-hole course located along Bayou Tesh at 157 Bellevue Lane in Franklin. Our clubhouse is also available for rentals for birthday parties, baby reveal parties, baby showers, weddings, and more. Whatever your needs, the Bellevue will accommodate you. Call the Bellevue at 337-828-2572. Hello, I'm Dr. Gary Wilkes, CEO of Tesh Action Clinic. 
Louisiana's oldest community health center. Let me show what we have to offer to your family. Whether it's uh, OBGYN, adult medicine, dental care, dietary, pediatrics, behavioral health, or pharmacy, it can all be found right here at Test Action Clinic. Yet it's care that's comprehensive, coordinated, and patient focused. To make sure that we meet the needs of our community, our services are provided on a sliding fee scale basis. And we offer extended weekday hours as well as opening our doors on Saturday at our Franklin site. Truly your one-stop health shop. So if you're looking for a medical home, please come visit us here at Tesh Action Clinic, the heartbeat of St. Mary Parish. Good afternoon. Look, on behalf of the city of Franklin, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Levine, look, we wanted to come out and wish the team, Coach Q, and all the players, Franklin High Hornets will come back victorious. We, 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 we plan on having a parade next week for you all, but let's take it one game at a time. Let's take it to Rayville tomorrow at 12, and then we let the chips fall where they may. One win at a time, one game at a time. Let's bring the ship back to Franklin. And then we'll celebrate with the parade and everything else that we need to do. But this is a major accomplishment. We're so very proud of everything that the team has done. You represent the city well. We're proud of you all. And, and Ms. Mitchell, Gloria Mitchell has made a beautiful cake for the team before they head out. And then, you know, then we'll proceed for you all to head on to Lake Charles with Coach Q. And we love y'all, man. We wish y'all the best of luck, man. And, Let's bring the ship home. I know, I know Deuce and the rest of the team, Bar Jamaica and you know, Mr. Provost. Where's Mr. Provost and wrestling? Where's Mr. Provost? Right there. All right, my boy Colin Peters and the rest of the players on the team. I wish you all the best of luck. And uh, we we praying for you all. The entire city is behind you all 100%. And again, let's bring the ship back to Franklin. We're back here at Burton Coliseum getting set for the tip of today's 2A semifinals between the Franklin Hornets and the Rayville Hornets. Both teams have gone to the bench, of course, here at Burton Coliseum a little different this year. As the lights go down, they'll do it up big as they'll have the spotlights on the starters and non-starters. But they have saran wrapped every other row of seats. You can't sit in certain areas, of course, with the COVID protocols. But the good news is, the Franklin Hornets have found their way here from Franklin, especially the fans. Behind us, they have got the whole bottom four rows full. Behind the Franklin bench on the other side, they're also over there. I guarantee they outnumber the Rayville Hornet fans probably about 12 to 1. Now, Rayville does come from above Monroe, so they had a little ways to go. But... The Franklin Hornets travel, they're here, and they are ready. So we'll have a lot of the pregame stuff, and we'll keep it right here and let you know the starters and non-starters. Again, this is hopefully not a once-in-a-lifetime uh, trip for the Hornets, but like we said, since 1961, this is the first time. So right now, we're going to go back to the studio as we'll have the invocation of National Anthem. We come back with the starters. And then a tip from Burton Coliseum. This is Hornet Basketball on KBZE. I'm Stephanie Guidry, CEO of Franklin Foundation Hospital, which has been built on a legacy of great care over the last 65 years, including many dedicated health professionals who are deeply committed to serving our community. Because of this dedication, stories of great care and compassion happen here every day. And when you consider our great advanced technology in a beautiful facility, it's no wonder that our patients give us great scores for patient care. We are committed to moving forward and taking health care to a new level of excellence at Franklin Foundation. Foundation Hospital. Hi, this is Mayor Eugene Foldcard with the City of Franklin. Our community is proud of the accomplishments of the Franklin High Hornet basketball team. This is a major accomplishment. We're so very proud of everything that the team has done. You represent the city well. We're proud of you all. And we love y'all, man. We wish y'all the best of luck, man. And uh, we, we pray for you all. The entire city is behind you all 100%. And again, let's bring the ship back to Franklin. Whether we like it or not, death is indeed a part of life. We all will take an exit. 
to a better place. To help your family make that transition, M.K. Dixon Funeral Home stands ready with care to help the residents of St. Mary Parish plan ahead and visit their beautiful facility at 211 Main Street in Baldwin. Give M.K. Dixon Funeral Home a call today at 337-940-9253. M.K. Dixon Funeral Home, celebrating lives, cherishing memories, honoring legacies, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Call M.K. Dixon Funeral Home at 337-940-9253 or visit at 211 Main Street in Baldwin. We're back here as the anthem is being played. That is the Whitney Houston version of the National Anthem. That never gets old. I don't care where or how many times you hear it. That is one of the best renditions you'll ever hear. And what a way to kick off this state semifinals. Now they'll introduce players from both teams. First, they'll announce the Franklin Hornets. There's the crowd. And Mr. Rayville. Speaking of driving in, this is really my first time coming this way since the hurricane. And boy, you can still see the devastation right when you get close to Lake Charles. Trees on the interstate. Then as you drive to get into Burton Coliseum, still a lot of damage. And you know these folks are getting through it, but I'm going to tell you, they are really trying to get back on their feet. Stanley Butler, number five. Number 10, Taryn Ballard. Number 12 is Irvin Lumpkin. Number 11 is Jason Johnson. 15 is Willis Jenkins. 20, Christian Henry. 21 is Tavon Ballard. 23 is Dalen Bell. 24, Aston Page. Now the nine starters for Rayville. Number five, Tony Percy. 11 is Tyler Bass. 12 is Zaylin Hedgeman. 13, 14 is Devin Ellis. 15, Cameron Smith. 20 is Demarcus Dixon. 23 is Clay Thompson. Here is your starting lineup for the Franklin Hornets. Number one. Senior guard, averaging 21 points a game, Travis Zeno. 5'11", junior guard, number two, Jamichael Gray. He comes in averaging 19 points a game. Number three, Zylan Perry, the six-foot junior forward. He's averaging 3.5. Number four is Kim Provo, junior, 5'11", averaging 15.3. And the man in the middle, number 32, is Kylan Peters, senior center. He's averaging 7.1. He is six foot two. And now the Rayville Hornets. Number one, a 6'2 senior forward, Cashy Nat, averaging 18 points a game. At guard, number two, Jalen Qualls, a 5'8 junior. He's averaging eight points a game. 
at guard, six foot senior. Number three, Zyquarius Coward. He's averaging 17. Number four, junior guard, number four, six foot junior, LeBrandon Butler. He's averaging six points a game. And number 13, Damarion Hedgeman. He is averaging 10 a game, also a junior. Well, everything is set. A couple of keys to the game. Number one, it's 12 o'clock. Not a lot of games start at noon in high school basketball, usually night games. So this will be a little different. Which team adjusts to that? Also, you're shooting in a much bigger arena. Rayville played all their playoff games at home. Now, the backdrop's a little different. It takes a little while to get used to. You couldn't practice in here, so it'll take a little bit maybe for these teams to get used to it. And who handles the situation? Rayville's been here before. Franklin hadn't. We'll see which team does the best job. We're glad you could be with us. Lunchtime at Burton Coliseum, Franklin and Rayville, to see who goes to the 2A championship. Peters against Nat to jump center. Ball is in the air. Nat controls it. Rayville quickly off the brown to the layup. No good. Franklin gets the rebound. Perry. Nice start for the Hornets as they had a layup but missed it. Here's Zeno across half court. Down the lane. Drives in a basket. No good. He had a good look and Nat was down there. And they say Nat lost it out of bounds. Zeno went straight to the goal. Just couldn't get it to go. And now the Hornets will have it on the inbound. Hornets and their maroon tops, maroon bottoms with the gold and white stripes. Franklin across the chest. Rayville in their home whites with the green stripe with Hornets across the chest. Down the middle. Gray tried to get it to Perry. He lost it out of bounds. Turnover goes to Rayville. 7.35, just underway, no score. Here is... Butler outside the qual. Butler down the lane. Pump fake goes up off the window and in. Good move by Butler, and it's 2 nothing. And here's the full court man pressure by Rayville. Get into hands of Gray. Gray will get it over Qualls. Goes right by him. Out to Zeno on the wing. Zeno gets it back. Down inside the Peters layup good. What a look. Zeno waited for him. Peters went to the goal. 2-2. Here's Butler out top. Inside. That is Colward. Couldn't shoot it. Hornets start. 2-3 zone. Long three outside. Colward, the left-hander, puts it down. 5-2. Rayville. First three by Colward. Goes down. Here's Zeno. Hedgeman picks him up. You know, out at half court. Gets a screen. Goes by the defenders. Down the lane. Zeno's layup. No good. Rebound to Coward. Zeno, another look. Couldn't get it to go. Coward. Crossover dribble down the lane. Short. Rebounded by Jermichael Gray. Here is the end-to-end action we talked about. He's double teamed. Gets the pass off, but stolen away by Hedgeman. Up to Quarles, down the lane. Layup is in. Rayville turns defense into offense. Gets the layup. 7-2. Franklin has got to get looks every time down the floor. Cannot let the Hornets get points in bunches. Here's Zeno. Outside to Gray. Hey, he drives. How is the Fouls are going to be a lot of people on the, the starters for both of these teams that played most of the minutes. And now Gray will shoot two. 5.39 to go in the first. 7-2. Rayville, but to Michael Gray will shoot two free throws. First free throw is in. Gray, the best free throw shooter on this team throughout the playoffs. He has been solid, especially in the fourth quarter. Free throw up, and again. Great, 2-2, two two, and it's a 7-4 Rayville lead. And there is Hedgeman. He tried to get Quarles under the basket, threw it too hard, out of bounds. Hornets 
I should say Franklin gets the ball back. Both Hornets. Here's the inbound to Gray. They'll change and put Butler on him now. Gray loses the ball. Goes on the floor. And he'll can't beat the 10 count, but Hornets call a timeout. Coach Johnson knew that Gray was in trouble. Gets the timeout. 5-24 to go in the first. 7-4. Rayville on top. We'll take a timeout. This is Franklin Hornet basketball on KBZE. Hi, this is Mayor Eugene Foldcard with the city of Franklin. Our community is proud of the accomplishments of the Franklin High Hornet basketball team. This is a major accomplishment. We're so very proud of everything that the team has done. You represent the city well. We're proud of you all. And we love y'all, man. We wish y'all the best of luck, man. And uh, we, we pray for you all. The entire city is behind you all 100%. And again, let's bring the ship back to Franklin. Today's game also being brought to you by State Senator Brett Allen, St. Mary Parish Sheriff Lay Smith, and Dr. Roland Degater and staff. Wish the best of luck to the history-making Franklin Hornets in the 2021 semifinals. Peters puts the shot in. Right after the timeout, they run a play to Peters. He puts it in, and then Nat comes back <coughs> quickly for Rayville. You see how fast they get it up and down the floor. Cohort with a steal. Down the lane. Layup is in. Just like that. It's 11-6 game. But you cannot make a mistake against Rayville or they will make you pay. Peters got a good look down low. A great pass again. Zeno off the back of his foot. Not a bounds. Good defense by Hedgeman. Hedgeman will go out. Tony Percy, the first substitute of game for either team, will come in. We went to the break. It was 7-4. After not even a minute, it's 11-6. Here's a three on the outside. Nash missed everything. Perry got the rebound. Here is Gray. Gray looking for a double screen. Gets it on the outside. Here's Provo at the top of the key. Near steal on the floor. Zeno gets it on the corner. Open three. Good. Travis Zeno gets the three. 11 9. Rayville by two. Four minutes to go in the first. Down the lane. Court inside to Nash. Great pass. Tell you what, these guys not only get up and down the floor, but they pass the ball in that interior very well. Zeno bringing it up. Over to Provo. He takes the three outside. Good. Tim Provo. His first basket's a three-pointer. 13-12. Rayville by one. Percy with a long three. No good. Missed everything again. Up the way to Provo. Terry had the rebound. Provo down the lane. Double clutching in. Provo puts it in. And for the first time, the Franklin Hornets have the lead. 14-13. 3.20 to go in the first. Free throw line, Nat cut off outside in the corner. Three ball on the way from Quarles, no good. Rebound by Jermichael Gray. And there's a holding call, Quarles in the backcourt. I think we might have a double technical. <clears throat> Let's sort this out. Quarles and Zeno were hooked up coming down the floor. Quarles was frustrated because he missed his second three of the game. I don't know if Zeno told him something and they got got. It's a technical foul against Quarles. That's his first. And now Zeno will shoot free throw. So Quarles definitely frustrated after missing that shot. Zeno will shoot free throws. Franklin not backing down between the number one ranked Rayville Hornets. You knew they wouldn't, and they had. First free throw is in. They'll have one more. And now number 14, Devin Ellis will check in, a 6'4 senior for the Hornets. Quarles will sit down. Zeno, second free throw is in. So the Hornets four for four from the strike in the game. 16-13. 16-13. It was an elbow in the face, our official tells us. That was the call. 
16-13, Franklin. 3.05 to go in the first. In the backcourt is Zeno. Zeno driving. Spin move. Out to Provo, who goes down the lane. Up and under, no good. Provo got his own rebound. Tried to get it to Peters. It went off a Rayville defender, then off a of Peters out of bounds. Oh, had a great move underneath. Say, well, he got some kind of hang time when he gets to that basket. 16-13, Franklin on top. Here come the Hornets. Percy against that 2-3 Hornet zone. Out top to Hedgeman. Over to Smith, who has checked in. Hedgeman behind the back. Percy, baseline. Up. Good. Off the basket. Off the backboard, I should say. For the basket. 16-15. Ball knocked out of bounds, they say, by Rayville. Rayville would only... Two starters on the floor. That is Cowart and Hedgeman. And let's see if later on that becomes a factor. Inbound stolen by Hedgeman. Hedgeman right at Zeno. He goes up. No good. Rebound by Jamichael Gray. Is Gray into the front court. Over to Peters outside. Down the lane, Gray cutting, goes up, reverse layup, no good. Howard had it, lost it on the floor. Good hustle by Perry, and they say Perry traveled with it. Zylan Perry with great hustle to get the ball back, but he went to the floor. Traveling was a call, and you could hear the displeasure from the fans. And now, Nat comes back in after a little break. Howard will go out and get a rest, and... Butler back in, replacing Hedgeman. So, Rayville really substituting, trying to get guys rest here in the first quarter. Franklin, the starters have gone the whole way. Outside, here's a swing around Percy from the corner. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound underneath. Reverse layup, good. Boy, that was Devon Ellis, the 6'4". He got a big wingspan. He got up there over Gray to get the rebound, put it back in. Rayville back in the lead. Here's Zeno down the lane. Over to Peters who drives. Peters bumped, no call. Missed the layup. Here's Butler down the lane. His runner's up and in. The Brandon Butler. 1916. If I could describe what Rayville is like, it's like Arkansas under the Nolan Richardson era when they played. Full court, man-to-man defense, and ran up and down. 40 minutes of hell, or whatever, 48 minutes, whatever they called it. Long three on the way, no good, but they say Provo was standing on the end line. Out of bounds. 1916 Rayville with 104 to go. Rayville with the basketball. The Hornets have converted two three-points, two three-pointers. Meanwhile, Rayville has made one. Dump down inside. Nat kicks it back out. Butler, jump shot. No good. Rebound. Perry went up, couldn't get it. And as a walk-in call, it was Cameron Smith who found himself about the free throw line, but he turned, traveled with it. The Hornets get it back with 53 seconds left. Here's Provo in the gray. Gray working across half court against Smith. Smith falls down, try to get to Provo, stolen by Nat. Rayville is some kind of quick defensively. Nat down the lane, up, no good, and he's fouled. That's going to be Provo. Say what? I marveled all year at how fast the Hornets were. Franklin Hornets, but I'm going to tell you, I think this Rayville bunch is just as big in age, probably about three, four inches taller in the Hornets. Nat will go to the line to shoot two. First one, no good. Dalen Bell, 23, comes in, replacing Peters. Meanwhile, Quarles back in, along with number 20. That is DeMarcus Dean. No, DeMarcus Dixon. Nine Rayville Hornets have played here in the first quarter. 37 seconds left. Nat makes the second one. 20 to 16. Here's Zeno. 
into the front court. Zeno on the drive, kicks out to Provo, three-pointer. Good again. Kim Provo hits the three. One-point game, and there's a foul. Number three, that's Terry will get the foul. Second team foul against the Hornets. And Percy will inbound it. 16 seconds left. Into the backcourt to Quarles. Quarles down the lane. Goes up over Provo. No good. Rebound Nat. Dumps it inside. He loses it. Here's Terry. A run out. Saves it. Back in to Gray. He'll have to shoot it. And it's in as the horn sounds. Jermichael Gray puts it in. We have played one quarter. It's Franklin 21, Rayville 20. We'll take a time, one minute timeout. We'll be back. This is Franklin Basketball on the Breeze. Hello, I'm Dr. Gary Wilkes, CEO of Tesh Action Clinic, Louisiana's oldest community health center. Let me show what we have to offer to your family. Whether it's uh, OBGYN, adult medicine, dental care, dietary, pediatrics, behavioral health, or pharmacy, it can all be found right here at Tesh Action Clinic. Yet it's care that's comprehensive, coordinated, and patient-focused. To make sure that we meet the needs of our community, our services are provided on a sliding fee scale basis. And we offer extended weekday hours, as well as opening our doors on Saturday at our Franklin site. Truly your one-stop health shop. So if you're looking for a medical home, please come visit us here at Tesh Action Clinic, the heartbeat of St. Mary Parish. Here's a shout out to the Franklin Hornets from former Franklin State Representative and former Franklin Mayor Sam Jones. You gentlemen represent Franklin with class. And they did in that first quarter, toe to toe with the Ravio Hornets. Matter of fact, Franklin leads it 21 20. We're set for quarter number two. Zeno gets the inbound. Step back, three pointer. Bang! Travis Zeno! The step back three in the Hornets by four. Quarles in the corner. Back out top to Hedgeman. Starters on the floor for the Hornets. Here's Colbert, who's been quiet. A quiet five points in the first quarter. Here's a steal by Perry. Two on one. Perry to Provo. Layup good. Tim Provo converts in the biggest lead of the game for the Hornets. 26-20. And as a traveling violation against Hedgeman. Turnover goes to the Hornets. <laughs> Here's the inbound. It goes to Zeno. Zeno over to Gray. Gray down the lane. Charges in. Layup in. Jamichael Gray forces the way in. Franklin has outscored Rayville 7-0 to start quarter number two. And it's a 28-20 lead. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. They had a little something at the media table. Got it straight. Here's Colbert outside. Three-pointer good. Boy, this, we heard about him, and he is as advertised as he nails his second three. 28-23. When they need a big basket, he looks like the guy they're going to go to. You can see how this team scored in bunches quickly. And that is a timeout. Franklin as Gray was double teamed. Franklin gets the timeout. We'll take it with him. Let's see. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll take a 30. We'll be back. This is High School Basketball on the Breeze. At Thibodeau Regional Wellness Center, we're improving the health and well-being of the region one person at a time. And this means more game time, more first times, more crunch time, more face time, and more party time. Isn't it time you started living your best life? Change starts here at Thibodeau Regional Wellness Center. 
congratulations and good luck to the entire Franklin community. You have made us proud. From your friends at Bellevue Golf Course and Social Club at the Northwest Golf Truck Stop Store over 24 hours, Franklin exit at Northwest Boulevard. After the timeout, Franklin has the ball back. Here's Zeno working on Hedgeman. He'll drive down the lane, blocked away by Cowart. Cowart got up there to block it away. First quarter, the Hornets shoot 58% from the field. 100% 100% for three-point line, so good start shooting-wise for the Hornets. Inbound goes to Gray outside. 28-23, 6-15 to go in the first half. Franklin on top. There's a steal by Quarles. Quick hands by Quarles down the lane. Provo challenging, good defense. Nat got it back. Up, oh, no good, but he's fouled. It'll go against Peters. That's his first. Team foul number three. That's going to send Nat to the line. Rayville, one of two from the line. It was Nat. Meanwhile, Rayville shooting 47% from the field, 20% from three-point line. They're used to putting them up in bunches, and Franklin has had something to do with that so far. First free throw is good. Here is Jayshon Johnson checking in for a Provo. Nat will have one more. Trying to cut the Franklin lead to three. And he does. 28-25. Again, full court man-to-man pressure. Here comes Zeno. Sutter step, free throw line, pull up, jumper, rolls around, no good. Rebound to Nat. Quarles to Butler. Knocked away, but Colbert was able to run it down. Hedgeman, top of the key, kicks it over. Three-pointer on the way. Good. That's Butler. Silky smooth as he knocks down a three. Well, they're starting to heat up. It's tied at 28. Third three-pointer of the game for Rayville. Here's a throw to the front court to Peters. He gets it off to Gray. Franklin worked so hard to have court to get baskets against this tenacious Rayville defense. Zeno outside, gets a screen. Gets it back to Gray. Gray gets a screen. Nowhere to go, gets it inside to Perry. Out to Johnson. Hornets being very patient in possession. Johnson drives down the lane, no call. Johnson gets his first basket, 28. Here is Paul. Butler, same spot, inside of the backboard. Quarles got it back there to put it back. The shot was so bad, it allowed the Ravio Hornets to get the rebound. Couldn't see it. They were tied to the backboard. 30 all. Timeout. Franklin, they're going to use a full timeout. That's their timeout. We'll go. Take a one-minute timeout. Tied at 30. This is Franklin Hornet basketball on the breeze. To save like never before at A.J. Doman Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Oh, you're a freak. We're going to treat you right. A.J. Doman, Chrysler, on the corner of High, the foot of the bridge in Berwick. Something cool. Friends, family, could happen to anyone. If you find it, Carl Fulcord, Bail Bonds, call 337-828-7, seven days a week. That's call Carl Fulcord. 337-828-7111. Here is Gray. It's a knocked away. The quarrels, two on one. Nat, the high fly to go. Third. And a near steal. But the, here comes Johnson. Brought back to Zeno. He's double team. Drive by both of them. Free throw line. Runner, no good. Rebound to Percy. Boy, they get it out and go the other way. Swit it on the outside. 32-30, 3.47 to go. Kim Provo back in the game for the Franklin Hornets. Zeno will take a break. Meanwhile, Dukas Dixon, number 20, will give Quarles a break. Stand. 
Peters a break on the inside. Butler, he's had a gun. It goes to Gray. They what? They are letting them play. Three fouls against Franklin, one against Rayville. Here's Gray. Side to Perry. Goes up, Coward blocks him from the back again. Franklin will inbound underneath the basket. Provo will trigger it. Has to get it. Johnson on the lane. Puts it up. No good. In by Bill. Percy the other way. Long pass to Dixon over his head. Out of bounds. Turnover. 322 to go in the half. 32 30 Rayville. Here's Gray. They are. Working on Gray and Zeno when he's in there. We'll see what that effect has in the second half. Provo with a three. No good. Rebound by Percy. He heads the other way. Here's Coward. Popped away from his hands into the hands of Percy. Goes up on Gray and he'll get two free throws. Foul will go against Jamichael Gray. That's his first. No one with two fouls yet in the game. Tony Percy will shoot two. The junior averaging 12 a game. First one is in. Here comes Butler, LeBrandon Butler back in for Rayville. Hedgeman will go down. Zeno also back in. Johnson will go out. 33-30. One more free throw for Tony Percy. Free throw up and in. Rayville now five of six from the line. They lead by four. Exactly three minutes to go in the half. Zeno into the front court. Drives down the lane. Stops. No good. Rebound by Nat. Here's Butler the other way. Knocked out of his hands and Zeno has it. Behind the back dribble down the lane. Zeno puts it up. No good. Stanley Butler got the rebound. It's knocked away on the floor. Rayville has it. LeBrandon Butler the other way for Rayville. Quick hands by Percy. He's tied up, and he knocks it out of bounds. Gray, they said, knocked it out. That's Rayville's ball with 2.28 to go. Hedgeman will check back in. Colwood will take a break. 2.28 to go. Colwood wins it as well. Tell you what, we talked about Franklin getting tired. Well... The Hornets are playing hard. Nat down the lane. Blocked by Butler. Outstanding defense by Stanley Butler. Gray down the lane. Layup in. Left-handed. To Michael Gray. Puts it in. 34-32. Edgman over to Percy. Dumps it down to Nat on the block. He turns. Underneath. No good. Rebounded by Gray. He gets it off to Zeno. Here comes Zeno. Dumps it over to Perry, who goes down the lane, puts it up. No good. A lot of contact. And then finally, they get a blocking call. They say he'll shoot two. They'll go against Tony Percy. Third foul. A team foul, first personal. And Perry will shoot two. Free throw, no good. Here comes Devin Ellis back in. Barry will shoot one more. Second free throw in. Perry makes one of two, and now Peters will come in, give Perry a rest. One point Rayville lead with 155 to go into half. Butler will walk it up. Edgman outside. Three ball. Short. No good. There's the big guy Ellis to get the rebound. Butler kicks it out. Dixon up and down. They say jump ball and the possession arrow pointing to Rayville with 134 to go. 
Good defense by Butler. I told you, Butler's had a great playoff run, and he's come in and made a difference here since coming in in the second quarter. Dixon back to Percy. He lets it go. Three, no good, but he's fouled on the shot. That's to Michael Gray. That's going to give him three free throws. And second foul on Gray. That's a big one with 130 to go. And Percy now will shoot three. First one is in. Sub setting to check in is Tyler Best. Second free throw is in. Best will come in. That means only one player. Excuse me, two players had played. Ten have played. All three made. And that pushes the lead to 37-33. 1.30 to go. Here comes Zeno. Down the lane on Hedgeman. He gets it over to Gray. Three-pointer. Right side. No good. But Gray stays with it. Got his own rebound. Tried to get it to Butler. Stolen away by Hedgeman. Provo had it. Then Hedgeman, quick hands, gets it back. Down the lane. Butler loses it. But they say Zeno knocks it out of bounds. Terry will check back in for the last minute and 10. Stanley Butler will go out. Rayville will have it underneath their basket with 1.10 to go. Rayville by four. Here's Butler outside to Hedgeman. Percy on the drive. Out to Butler. His three was up. No good. Rebound by Peters. Over to Provo. Under a minute to go. Is Provo down the lane. Provo! Reverse layup is good. Provo gets it to go, and he has 12 in the game. Lead back to two. Outside best. Back to Percy. Drives. Up and under. No good. Out of bounds. Percy wanted to foul, but didn't get it. Nat will check back in. And out goes Devin Ellis. Franklin, 34 seconds left, down two. The inbound comes to Dixon. I mean, excuse me, to Zeno. Here's Zeno. 20 seconds. Zeno working on best. So Johnson wants to play for the final shot. Clock at nine. Zeno still at half court. Seven. Zeno behind the back. Three seconds. Two seconds. Kim Provo. Long three. He didn't get it off. Franklin does not get a shot. And we have come to the half. An exciting half. An entertaining half. And a surprising half. I believe for a lot of people in this state, they didn't think this one would be close. 37-35, Rayville takes a two-point lead into the halftime. We're going to take a five-minute break, get us a little water, catch up on the stats. We'll come back with the halftime show. You're listening to Franklin Hornet Playoff Basketball on the station where champions play, KBZE. In jail? Got a high bond? Then make your next move your best move. Call attorney Garen Matthew Johnson at 504-296-6159 to help get your loved ones out of jail, home, bond reductions for all budgets, and remember, get at him if you were involved in any auto accidents. Call this brother right here, attorney Garen Matthew Johnson at 504-296-6159. Time for a quick quiz. What do you get when you multiply your salary by seven? Give up? That's the amount of life insurance you may need. Do you have the right amount of life insurance to protect your family's future? Carl Focard of Focard Insurance Agency in Franklin can make sure that you do. He'll even provide you with a free life insurance analysis. Call Carl Focard today at 384-8332 or 828-7111. Because when it comes to your life insurance, good hands make all the difference. Harley Holland here with A.J. Doman's Chevrolet Cadillac in Berwick, Louisiana. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, 
Hey, we can help you. We understand. We've lived through this COVID along with you. With your good job and your down payment, we can get you riding in a new vehicle today. Come down and see us at AJ Dome and Chevrolet Cadillac and let us show you how easy we can make it for you. AJ Dome and Chevrolet Cadillac in Berwick, Louisiana. Hi, this is Mayor Eugene Foldcard with the City of Franklin. Our community is proud of the accomplishments of the Franklin High Hornet basketball team. Our beautiful city is seeing a revitalization movement and it all starts at home. Remember, shop local, eat local, play local, and fuel local as much as possible and keep much needed revenues local to support water infrastructure, current and future overland of streets, community projects across our city, and much, much more. Remember, it's all under the lamppost. Come feel our new energy as we continue to revitalize Franklin. I'm Stephanie Guidry, CEO of Franklin Foundation Hospital, which has been built on a legacy of great care over the last 65 years, including many dedicated health professionals who are deeply committed to serving our community. Because of this dedication, stories of great care and compassion happen here every day. And when you consider our great advanced technology in a beautiful facility, it's no wonder that our patients give us great scores for patient care. We are committed to moving forward and taking health care to a new level of excellence at Franklin Foundation. Foundation Hospital. I'm going to tell you about the best kept secret in South Louisiana, the Bellevue Golf and Social Club, a beautiful nine-hole course located along Bayou Tesh at 157 Bellevue Lane in Franklin. Our clubhouse is also available for rentals for birthday parties, baby reveal parties, baby showers, weddings, and more. Whatever your needs, the Bellevue will accommodate you. Call the Bellevue at 337-828-2572. Whether we like it or not, death is indeed a part of life. We all will take an exit to a better place. To help your family make that transition, M.K. Dixon Funeral Home stands ready with care. To help the residents of St. Mary Parish plan ahead and visit their beautiful facility at 211 Main Street in Baldwin, give M.K. Dixon Funeral Home a call today at 337-940-9253. M.K. Dixon Funeral Home, celebrating lives, cherishing memories, honoring legacies, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Call M.K. Dixon Funeral Home at 337-940-9253. 9253, a visit at 211 Main Street in Baldwin. Hello, I'm Dr. Gary Wilkes, CEO of Tesh Action Clinic, Louisiana's oldest community health center. Let me show what we have to offer to your family. Whether it's uh, OBGYN, adult medicine, dental care, dietary, pediatrics, behavioral health, or pharmacy, it can all be found right here at Tesh Action Clinic. Yet it's care that's comprehensive, coordinated, and patient focused. To make sure that we meet the needs of our community, our services are provided on a sliding fee scale basis. And we offer extended weekday hours, as well as opening our doors on Saturday at our Franklin site. Truly your one-stop health shop. So if you're looking for a medical home, please come visit us here at Tesh Action Clinic, the heartbeat of St. Mary Parish. Harley Holland here with AJ Doman Chevrolet Cadillac in Berwick, Louisiana. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Hey, we can help you. We understand. We've lived through this COVID along with you. With your good job and your down payment, we can get you riding in a new vehicle today. Come down and see us at AJ Doman Chevrolet Cadillac and let us show you how easy we can make it for you. AJ Doman Chevrolet Cadillac in Berwick, Louisiana. In jail? Got a high bond? Then make your next move your best move. Call attorney Garen Matthew Johnson at 504-296-6159 to help get your loved ones out of jail, home, bond reductions for all budgets, and remember, get at him if you were involved in any auto accidents. Call this brother right here, attorney Garen Matthew Johnson at 504-296-6159.
Harley Harlan here with AJ Doman's Chevrolet Cadillac in Berwick, Louisiana. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. Hey, we can help you. We understand. We've lived through this COVID along with you. With your good job and your down payment, we can get you riding in a new vehicle today. Come down and see us at AJ Doman's Chevrolet Cadillac and let us show you how easy we can make it for you. AJ Doman's Chevrolet Cadillac in Berwick, Louisiana. Hi, this is Mayor Eugene Foldcard with the City of Franklin. Our community is proud of the accomplishments of the Franklin High Hornet basketball team. Our beautiful city is seeing a revitalization movement and it all starts at home. Remember, shop local, eat local, play local, and fuel local as much as possible and keep much needed revenues local to support water infrastructure, current and future overland of streets, community projects across our city, and much, much more. Remember, it's all under the lamppost. Come feel our new energy as we continue to revitalize Franklin. I'm Stephanie Guidry, CEO of Franklin Foundation Hospital, which has been built on a legacy of great care over the last 65 years, including many dedicated health professionals who are deeply committed to serving our community. Because of this dedication, stories of great care and compassion happen here every day. And when you consider our great advanced technology in a beautiful facility, it's no wonder that our patients give us great scores for patient care. We are committed to moving forward and taking health care to a new level of excellence at Franklin Foundation. Foundation Hospital. I'm going to tell you about the best kept secret in South Louisiana. The Bellevue Golf and Social Club, a beautiful nine-hole course located along Bayou Tesh at 157 Bellevue Lane in Franklin. Our clubhouse is also available for rentals for birthday parties, baby reveal parties, baby showers, weddings, and more. Whatever your needs, the Bellevue will accommodate you. Call the Bellevue at 337-828-2572. Hello, I had a little technical difficulties, but Fab, DJ Fab back in the studio always picking up the slack. Makes us all sound good. Thank you, Fab. We'll keep an eye on that phone again. Some problems around the area. Of course, still from that hurricane, we saw a lot of damage. Still people trying to put everything back together. I'd like to thank our sponsors, some of our sponsors for today's game, including State Senator Brett Allen, St. Mary Parish Sheriff Blaze Smith, and Dr. Roland Degater and staff, who send love to our 2021 Hornets. You have made us proud. The Northwest Golf Truck Stop reminds you they're open 24 hours for rest, food, and fun as the Franklin Estes at Northwest Boulevard. Sometimes people get in trouble. Friends, family, it could happen to anyone. If you find yourself arrested, call someone you can trust. Call Full Court Bail Bonds. Call 337-828-7111. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And congratulations and good luck to the entire Franklin community. You have made us proud from your friends at Bellevue Golf Course and Social Club. Just a few of our sponsors who have made this possible. We appreciate all allowing us to bring you this exciting game. And we have an exciting half setting up as Rayville and Franklin looking for a chance to move into Friday's finals. There's a 5 o'clock final. Of course, if Franklin makes it, we'll be here with you from Burton Coliseum. The winner of today's game will take on the winner of the second game today, number two, Fort Allen, number six, Lakeview for the 2A state title. Franklin will start with the basketball. It'll be Provo, Zeno, Peters, Gray, and Perry, the starters. Starters also on the floor for the Hornets. Here's Zeno. Working on Hardman, or Hedgeman, I should say. Now to Gray. Dumps it down inside to Perry. He goes up. Reverse layup is good. Perry went over Nat. Got the layup. Tied at 37. Here's Butler on the outside. Hornets switch now to man to man. They play the 2 3 zone. Here's a drive. Knocked away out of bounds. They say last touch by Zeno. Rayville with the ball. Right in front of their bench. Out top to Hedgeman. Defense, 
Hedgeman over to Colward. Colward back to Hedgeman. He'll drive. Dumped it back inside to Nat. Good pass. Nat gets the basket. Nat, the leading scorer on his team. He has 13. 39 37. Rayville. Here's Gray down the lane. Layup. No good. Hung on the rim and fell off. And Nat comes the other way. Up to Colbert. Three pointer on the way. No good. Tipped around. Controlled by Quarles. Jump down inside to Nat. Good look from Hedgeman. Nat with two straight buckets in his 41 37. Here comes Gray. Tried to kick it over to Provo, but it was knocked out of bounds. So Franklin will stay in possession right in front of their bench. Rayville by four, out to Zeno. Zeno had eight in the first half. Zeno, Provo in the corner. Back to Zeno. Three, top of the key. No good. Rebound goes to Colbert. And there is stepped on the line was the Brandon Butler. Stepped on the out of bounds line at half court. And it'll go to Franklin. You know, trigger. He does to Gray. Gray gets into the front court. Looking for a screen from Peters. Gray back to Peters. Shot. Free throw line, no good. Rims around, Colbert gets the rebound. Here comes Rayville. Down inside to Nat, scores again. Nat scores six in a row, and it's six-point lead. That's what we're talking about. They can do to you. They can really get it going. Down the lane is Gray. Bump up in foul. So Michael Gray skips down the lane. And that'll be Hedgeman with the foul. Gray with a chance for a three-point play. Franklin just hanging around. Right when it looks like Rayville wants to put some distance, the Hornets come up with a play, and Gray gets the basket and the free throw. And a lead back to three, 43-40. That powers his way down the lane. No good. Went to the ground, no call. Here comes for Michael Gray. Over to Provo in the corner. He quits up a long three off the iron. Nat with Gray back. No good. Butler up. No good. Coward socked out of his hands, and they got a foul. Wow. They could have called a foul three times. I think that foul was not there. I think Terry got it clean. Second foul on Terry. First against the Hornets in this half. And Cord will shoot two. First free throw. No good. One more free throw. Upcoming. Forward second one. This one is in. He has nine in the game and the lead back to four. Five minutes to go here in quarter number three. Great double team. Trying to get the ball out of his hands, but he beats the double team down the lane. Left hand layup blocked out of there by Nat. Not a bound. Franklin will have it under the basket. They sent a double team after Gray trying to get the ball out of his hands, but. He and Zeno can beat the double team every time. As quick as Rayville is, they have a hard time staying with both of the guards. Great. Out at half court. Over to Zeno. He drives down the lane. No good. Rebound. Fought for control by Zeno. He goes back. Off the backboard. No good. And this time, Quarles had it, but he traveled. Quarles got the rebound, but he traveled. And now it'll be Percy coming back in, Tony Percy. And the Brandon Butler will go out. Franklin down four, has it underneath the basket. Zeno will throw it in. 
Out to Provo. Open look this time from the corner. No good. Provo hit a couple threes in the first half. Missed his two shots this time. Kohler will try the three. Off the iron. No good. Out of bounds. Last or off the shot. So it'll go back to Franklin. Here is the pressure. They get it into Gray. Three on two, but Gray pulls it back. Dalen Bell checked back in. Next whistle. Gray. Over to Provo. Provo, baseline jumper is in. Kim Provo with 14. Lead back to two. 44-42. Patterson, uh, double team by Perry. And the foul called. And that looks like that is Island Perry. That's his third. So the first Hornet with three is Perry. And now Dalen Bell check in for Kylan Peters. That was the second team foul of the half. Inbound goes to Nat. Back out to Hedgeman. Quarles on the wing. They'll reset the offense. They'll whip it around to Colward. Colward. Down low. Inside, outside. And Nat back to Colward who hits the three. Or you get it down inside. They try to double team Nat. He got it back to Colward. And he buries it and the lead to five. 47-42. Gray. Down low. Stolen away by Nat. Up to Colward. Down the lane. Colward puts it up. And in. Colward gets the basket, 49-42. Biggest lead for Rayville in the game at 7. 319, and timeout. Coach Johnson will call it. That's his fourth timeout. It's going to be a one-minute timeout. We'll be back. You're listening to Franklin Hornet Basketball on KBZE. In jail? Got a high bond? Then make your next move your best move. Call attorney Garen Matthew Johnson at 504-296-6159 to help get your loved ones out of jail, home, bond reductions for all budgets, and remember, get at him if you were involved in any auto accidents. Call this brother right here, attorney Garen Matthew Johnson at 504-296-6159. I'm Stephanie Guidry, CEO of Franklin Foundation Hospital, which has been built on a legacy of great care over the last 65 years, including many dedicated health professionals who are deeply committed to serving our community. Because of this dedication, stories of great care and compassion happen here every day. And when you consider our great advanced technology in a beautiful facility, it's no wonder that our patients give us great scores for patient care. We are committed to moving forward and taking health care to a new level of excellence at Franklin Foundation. Foundation Hospital. We're moving forward together at Franklin Foundation Hospital. Dangerous time in the game. 319 to go in the third. Rayville with their biggest lead at 49-42. Franklin after the timeout has the ball. Zeno working it into the front court. Walking it up against Hedgeman. Zeno crossover dribble down the lane. Loses the handle. Got it back to Gray. Gray. The bell outside. Provo, top of the key. Three, no good. Rebound to Nat. Up to Quarles. Long pass to Hedgeman. He drives at the pump fake. No good. Nat got it back, put it in. Nat has eight points in the quarter, 19 in the game. And the lead now by nine. Gray out to Zeno. He spots up for the three. No good. Franklin needs a basket. Rayville running. Forward. In the corner to Hedgeman. He loses it out of bounds. Break for the Franklin Hornets. Hedgeman loses out of bounds. Peters now come in for Perry. Inbound goes to Zeno. Zeno again walked it up. Goes by Hedgeman. Down the lane. Layup. Zeno no good. He just can't find the basket. Tough second half so far for Zeno. Meanwhile, Coward. Three-pointer. No good. Nat was over the back. 
Nat will pick up his first. Rayville has nobody with two fouls, and as aggressive as they play, they only have five team fouls. Coward will go out. Cameron Smith will check in. Here's the inbound to Gray. Peters. Outside. Provo. Good. Provo has been the most consistent shooter. He hits a big three. The Hornets needed that one. 51-45. Six-point lead. 145 to go here in the third. Here's Quarles. And he hits the three. Quarles answers with a three-pointer. 54-45. Pressure picking up. He is gray. Into the front court. Corner to Provo. Dumps it down to Peters. Lose the handle. Nat has it. Quick hand. Here's Quarles. Percy. Reverse layup. No good, but he's fouled. That'll go against Gray. That's his third. So Gray and Provo with three apiece. And that'll send Tony Percy to the line where he is five for five. 110 to go in the third. Free throws good. Ten point lead, the largest lead of the game for Rayville. Is Johnson back in for Bell and Perry? In for Peters. Here's Percy. Again, in. 11 point lead. 108 to go. Zeno. Out to Gray. Gray drives. Left handed layup in. Gray. Down the lane. Nat right back the other way. Quarles in the corner. Jump shot. No good. Carry off his hands. Out of bounds. And they say touched by Rayville. Good hustle by Provo. Smith loses a shoe. Coward will check in. Smith will go out. Butler also checks back into the Franklin lineup. Zeno will go out. Is Provo. Gets it into. So is Jermichael Gray. Here comes the double team. Gray reverses dribble to the outside. Butler looking down inside. He gets it to Johnson. And he's blocked by Nat with the foul call. Second on Nat. And that'll send Johnson to the line for free throws. So Franklin doing all they can to cut into this lead before the third quarter ends with 33 seconds. Johnson will shoot two. Down by nine. First free throw, no good. We told you free throws become so big here in semifinals and final games. Second free throw is in. Johnson, one of two. He has three in the game. Eight-point lead for Rayville. Here's Hedgeman. Out to Percy, and he walks with it. Twenty-six seconds. Franklin ball out of midcourt. They'll throw it in the backcourt to Gray. And that's a charge. Percy, who has been playing Gray all day, and that is four on Jamichael Gray. That is a huge foul. They have been up on Gray all day. He's done a good job, but that's a charge. With 15 seconds late, reveal. Eight-point lead in the basketball. They'll spread it out for one. Coward spins. Goes up over Gray. No good. Tip by Quarles is in. 
Quarles gets the foot back. And long shot. No good. Franklin trailed by two at the half, but now it is a 10-point lead for Rayville. We'll take a one-minute timeout. We'll come back with quarter number four. This is Hornet Basketball on KBZE. Hi, this is Mayor Eugene Foldcard with the City of Franklin. Our community is proud of the accomplishments of the Franklin High Hornet basketball team. This is a major accomplishment. We're so very proud of everything that the team has done. You represent the city well. We're proud of you all. And we love y'all, man. We wish y'all the best of luck, man. And uh, we, we're praying for you all. The entire city is behind you all 100%. And again, let's bring the ship back to Franklin. Whether we like it or not, Jeff is indeed a part of life. We all will take an exit to a better place. To help your family make that transition, M.K. Dixon Funeral Home stands ready with care to help the residents of St. Mary Parish plan ahead and visit their beautiful facility at 211 Main Street in Baldwin. Give M.K. Dixon Funeral Home a call today at 337-940-9253. M.K. Dixon Funeral Home, celebrating lives, Cherishing memories, honoring legacies, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Call MK Dixon Funeral Home at 337-940-9253 or visit at 211 Main Street in Baldwin. Start quarter number four, steal by Zeno. Zeno down the lane, layup is no good. Provo got it back and put it in. Provo scores 58-50. Zeno, Provo, Gray, Terry, and Peters is Coward on the outside. Hornets will spread it out. Quarles will drive. Put it up and in. Quarles has seven in the second half, nine in the game. 60-50. Zeno drives, puts up the run on the baseline, too strong. The rebound goes to Rayville, and boy, Zeno having a tough second half. Has no points, just can't get it to go down. Here's the pass, Quarles. In the corner, it goes to Butler, steps in to the jumper, no good. Provo with it. Provo headed the other way, and he's bumped at half court. Quarles will get the foul. Fourth team foul. Here's a shout-out to the Franklin Hornets from former Franklin State Representative and Mayor Sam Jones. You gentlemen represent Franklin with class. And congratulations, good luck to the entire Franklin community. You have made us proud from your friends at Bellevue Golf Course and Social Club. Here's the inbound. It goes to Gray. Gray looking for a screen. He'll drive. He'll step through, and he traveled with it. Nope, they say foul before. Got him on the arm, so. Look like Quarles again. That's what it is. That's his third. Franklin on inbound. Gray over to Zeno in the corner. Three on the way. Good. Zeno needed that one, and so did the Hornets. Seven-point lead. 6.30 to go. Zeno now with 11. Quarles on the drive. Cut off by Peters. He'll throw it back out. Now Rayville going to a spread. They're not, they'll run some clock, but they're looking to get a good shot off of this spread as well. Butler to Nat. Stolen away. Gray. Franklin with the numbers the other way. Zeno down the lane. Layup is in. Zeno, five in a row to lead, cut to five. 60 to 55. Coward, stolen away. Here comes Provo. Provo behind the pack. Layup. No good. And Coward with the rebound. Tough shot by Provo. Here's Quarles down the lane. And he travels with it, or did they call a foul? Looked like he walked before the foul. Same thing on the other end. Who got it? That is. Terry, and that is three on him. 15 foul, but no free throw, so Rayville will get it underneath that basket. The lob to Nat. 
and it's good. Nat, so good inside. 62-55, here's Gray. Outside, he drives, straight to the basket, layup is in. Jamichael Gray, they gave him a lane. He gets to the basket, 62-57. 5-15 to go in the game. And back court by Hedgeman. He was standing on the line when he got the ball back. Turnover. Goes back to the Hornets. Five-point lead. Now Percy will come in. Franklin looking to cut into it. Quarles will go out. Provo inbound. Get to the Zeno. Way in the backcourt. Zeno across half court. Zeno with a little bounce in his step after two straight shots. Here's Perry down the lane. Up, no good. Contact, no call. Franklin Hornet fans want it. There's a walk. Percy on the walk. A lot of contact on Perry on the baseline. And it'll go to the Franklin Hornets in front of their bench. 4.55 to go. Neither team shooting free throws yet. 62-57, five-point lead. Provo gets it into Gray. Gray drives, puts it up, no good. Gray got it back, puts it up, no good. And there's Percy up ahead. It goes to Hedgeman down the lane. No good. Rebound by Colbert. Off the board, no good. Got it back, up, and in. Colbert finally gets it to go. Third shot. Timeout, Rayville. They're first. Let's see how long it's going to be. And they say a full timeout. We'll take a one-minute timeout. Come back. This is Franklin Basketball on the Breeze. Hello, I'm Dr. Gary Wilkes, CEO of Tesh Action Clinic, Louisiana's oldest community health center. Let me show what we have to offer to your family. Whether it's uh, OBGYN, adult medicine, dental care, dietary, pediatrics, behavioral health, or pharmacy, it can all be found right here at Tesh Action Clinic. Yet it's care that's comprehensive, coordinated, and patient-focused. To make sure that we meet the needs of our community, our services are provided on a sliding fee scale basis, and we offer extended weekday hours, as well as opening our doors on Saturday at our Franklin site. Truly your one-stop health shop. So if you're looking for a medical home, please come visit us here at Tesh Action Clinic, the heartbeat of St. Mary Parish. Rayville used the timeout. Franklin, down seven, 434 to go. Cashy Nat with 21 points. Here comes Zeno. Rayville backs up into half court, so they'll pick him up at half court. Zeno in the corner. Gray, three ball, no good. Rebound tipped around. Gray got it back. Provo, three, no good off the iron, and Nat gets the rebound. Boy, Nat is quick off of his feet. Cross court pass by Rayville. Now forward on the baseline. Drives, gets it under the Percy. Blocked away, but a foul called on the floor. Peters got the block, but I think Perry's going to pick up the foul. And he does. And he has fouled out of the game. Perry leads with three points. The junior, also the quarterback of the football team. And that'll get Stanley Butler up. Perry, outstanding athlete. But Percy, who is... Seven of seven from the free throw line will go to shoot two. Four minutes exactly left in this one. Free throws in. He has ten points. He is eight for eight from the free throw line. Make it nine and nine. Franklin down nine. Here's Peters. Down the lane. Runner no good. Rebound. Goes to Rayville. Hedgeman down the floor. Blocked away. 
Nat puts it up. Good. Peters injured down at the other side of the floor. They'll send to Peters and they'll have to get him out of the game. But Nat's basket will count. 68-57. Irvin Lumpkin will check in. Here's Zeno. He'll pick up the ball at half court. Drives down the lane. Layup is in. Zeno gets it in. 68-59. Nine-point lead for Rayville with 3.30 to go in the game. Franklin picking up that defense a little higher now. Man to man. Edgman into the front court. Over to Percy. So tough right here. They're quick. Everybody can handle the ball. They spread you out. Percy down the lane. Runner is in. Tony Percy. Pushes the lead back to 11. Gray. Out top. Provo. No good. Rebound to Nat. Nat has been huge in this game. And the Rayville fans. Start to cheer with 2.45 to go. Up by 11. Butler has it knocked away. Zeno head the other way. To Gray. Down the lane. His layup is in. To Michael Gray. Keeps battling. 70-61. Two twenty. Brandon Butler. Out top it goes to Nat. Top of the key. Over to Hedgeman. Out to Percy. He'll drive again. Kicks it to Coward. He loses the handle on the floor. Throw by Gray. To Michael Gray the other way with the numbers. This is the Stanley Butler down the lane. Layup too strong. Lumpkin had it. Fought for it. Got it back. Back to Gray. Gray drives. Layup is in. To Michael Gray gets the basket. 70-63. Seven point lead with 146. You got to figure Franklin's going to have to start fouling. You don't want to foul Percy. Here's Lumpkin. Timeout Rayville. They'll talk about it. We'll keep it right here. Game reset. The arrow is pointing to Franklin. Now, the next foul by the Hornets will make it a one and one. 139, you're down seven. You're going to have to pick somebody to foul. Nat is three of four. Coward is one of two. Percy, he is nine of nine. You don't want to foul Percy. You want to either foul Butler or Hedgeman when they get the ball. Now, that's not to say they're not good free throw shooters. They just hadn't shot them today. Definitely don't want to foul Percy. Sure, that's what Coach Johnson is telling his team. Sometimes people get in trouble. Friends, family, it could happen to anyone. If you find yourself arrested, call someone you can trust. Call Full Court Bail Bond. Call 337-828-7111. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So after the timeout, it'll be Rayville's basketball at half court. Let's see if they go for the foul immediately. In the backcourt is Butler. Lumpkin picks him up. Now goes a court. Gray can't foul. He has four. Here's Nat. Time clicking, 125. Nat to the basket. Fouled. No good. He'll shoot two. He went to the basket. And that goes against Provo. That's his second. So now Nat will shoot two. Well, you don't want to get to the basket. I think you got to foul him. You go for the steal. If you don't get the steal, you foul him and put him at the strike. Free throw's good by Nat. 71-63. Eight-point lead. Second one in. 72-63. T 
Zeno, pick it up. Zeno drives. Zeno's layup. No good. Hit the back of the iron. And Zeno reaches around and fouls Nat. Zeno's first. But that'll send Nat to the line. Here's Nat going to shoot two. Free throws in. Nat, big game continues. 26 now for the 6'2 senior. Second one is in. 27 for Nat. 74-63 to lead 11 with 110 to go. Great. Zeno, corner, three ball, no good. Rebound, Nat. I don't know how many rebounds Nat has, but he has been huge. And there's a foul. Nope, they say traveling calls. Lumpkin tried to get it out of Hedgeman's hand. And it'll go to Franklin. 103. Zeno, end of Gray. Long three by Gray. No good. Rebound Nat again. Under a minute to go. Hedgeman traveled with it. 47 seconds left. Barring anything, Rayville is going to advance to the state championship again. Last year, the Duke got beat by Fort Allen. They will face the winner of Lakeview and Fort Allen Friday night at 5 o'clock right here in Burton. Coliseum. The Franklin Hornets dream of a 2A state championship will fall short today, but the Hornets are where they need to be. Gray with a jumper. They have gotten to the semifinals. And there's a foul in the backcourt. It'll be lumping. And Franklin will be back, I can assure you. Seniors or Zeno, Butler, Ballot, Lumpkin, Peters. Coming back will be Gray, Terry, Provo. A lot of talent left. And two for Percy, 11 for 11 at the line. 76-65. Here's Gray down the lane. His layup is good. 23 points for Gray. Ball knocked out of bounds by Zeno with 21 seconds left. Now Franklin should be, Hornets should be congratulated. I know it stings a semifinal loss, but they've done something no team has done since 1958 when the Hornets beat Kaplan for the state championship. First time in the, since they had a top 20, 24, 28 that Franklin has got there. Johnson gets the foul in the backcourt. And that'll send Hedgeman to the line to shoot two with 17 seconds left. 76-67. Nine-point lead. Well, it won't be no 100-point score for Rayville. They'll be under that for sure. Hedgeman's free throw no good. He has not scored in the game. Excuse me. No, he has not. Second free throw is no good. 76-67. Zeno, three ball, no good. And there's another rebound by Nat. Under 10 seconds. Nat, take it down. And Nat... We'll stop it, and that'll do it. Your final score from Burton Coliseum, the number one seed, Rabel Hornets, knocked off the Franklin Hornets, 76 to 67. It was an outstanding effort, outstanding season by the Hornets, but they fall short today to the Rayville Hornets. Rayville advances to the state championship. They'll play the winner of Lakeview and Fort Allen. Jamichael Gray had 23 points. 
Kim Provo had 19. Ravazino had 15 for the Hornets. That's going to wrap up our high school basketball coverage. 